Good morning friends, it's Julie and today is our weekly what sold video and as you can see across this top it doesn't look like a lot but I actually only loaded half of what sold. I had a really good weekend last week and like I don't know what was happening but I guess I don't know. But anyways, it's been really good. So we're going to start off here with Charlotte Street in St. Augustine, Florida. It's a Spanish regime. Um, I don't know where like, well, where did that come from? Yeah, it actually says on the postcard. So it's unposted, 447, an early card for me. We have Ford De Pla excuse me, Ford Plant, Dearborn, Michigan, Aerial View. There might be a couple here that are doubles from last week because it, I don't know, eBay's kind of been kind of weird with what sold recently with, and sometimes it shows up at the wrong time frame. I don't know what's going on. But anyways, this is an old linen postcard and 447. Number 8T, Sabasco Lodge Estates in Maine. And there's two people golfing. Here is the message and it's upside down writing. Sometimes they did that, sometimes they wrote sideways and that went for $9.87 plus dollar shipping. Fort Lauderdale, Lauderdale Beach, old cars. And that, there it is, there's the beach. There's all those neat old cars and the message here, it went to Mrs. Dur Mrs. Castagna in Red Lodge. That is a name you might see often. Um, that was just $2, took a best offer for it. Ponce de Leon Hotel in St. Augustine, Florida, an old lithograph. And oh, by the way, somebody asked me, um, how do you know if it's a lithograph? So I'm going to do a Q&A on Friday. So just drop your question. I'm going to answer that on Friday and just drop your questions below if you have a uh, question for me and I will try to answer that. It doesn't have to be about reselling. It can be about other stuff too. So um, drop it by Wednesday or by the end of Wednesday, I'll probably make it on Thursday morning or something. So keep that in mind. Okay, Cathedral's Place, St. Augustine, Florida, and it's a white border. You can see the de hotel, dentistry, all these, you know, businesses and such. And this was to Mr. Jackman Jr. University School. Sometimes I try to, yeah, put that where it's going to if it's an interesting place. So it was also photo stint and it went for $3.20 on Best Offer. Courtyard for Fort Marion, post St. Augustine, Florida. I did a close-up, I think. Yep, here's the entire view. I don't know why I did a close-up on this one. But it's an old one. You can see it's not in the best shape. And, oh, I forgot to show you the back. Yeah. And again, to Mr. Mrs. D.E. Jackman, this was also a rotograph. And that was originally put out in 1906. I got $3.20. Sunshine Skyway in Tampa, Florida. This was part of the Florida lot from Jackass Retro. And there's the back. It didn't sell for a lot, but it sold for $2.25. And we're zeroing in on one of them, my control group or Jackass Retro, breaking even. So I'll let you know when one of them does. On the Santa Fe Trail, this is another white, was this, it looks like a linen, I can't remember. Either a whiteboard or a linen. And this is a photo stint. I don't know if I put that in there. Nope. Um, it's a Fred Corporal Fred Harvey, 497. It didn't say Fred Harvey postcard, but it had his name on it. Pavilion of Como Park in St. Paul, Minnesota, 1912. Miss somebody Talbot. And $4.50. And so there's a lot of low price postcards that are sold here. But there is also, uh, there's a saying that the smalls pay the rent. So because these take very little to list, very little to ship, um, I could probably list, you know, 20 cards in the time I could list, you know, a $20, $30 book or something. Uh, so, and, and they are easy to also ship. So I had a stack, I should have taken a picture, a stack like this big today. And there was like $140 worth of postcards in there. And it all fit in my purse you know, or just in my arm, just to put it, they still fit in my little mailbox. Could have 10 small sales, or I could have one big sale that won't fit very well in my mailbox. So I don't know, it evens out. And I am toying with the idea of not posting anything that is under $3 and putting them in my antique booth too. So stay tuned for that too. All right, so Old Main Montana State University in Mo uh, Missoula, is it at Missoula or both? Okay. But here's the M on the mountain. And there is the whole entire picture. Unposted. Yeah, it was Missoula. $4.97 plus a dollar. State Hospital for the Insane. And 
uh, yeah, there's people who collect these. There is, it went out in 1911 to somebody in Fishtail, Montana. Oh, yeah, I love Fishtail, Montana. I actually met someone who lived there recently. Okay, that went for $8, <laughs> going down my rabbit trails. Hall of Reptiles, Dinosaur, Skeletons. I don't know what else to say about it. I mean, it's dinosaurs. But I've actually sold a couple of these now for, you know, a good amount of money. And it's unposted. I put this up at auction first, I think for like nine or twelve dollars. I can't remember now. And it didn't sell, so I listed it for seventeen something and it sold. So you never know. Okay. How I felt in my first b bathing suit. And I mentioned there was a dog, because some people like dogs. Um, nice bathing suit, huh? It looks like a dress. <laughs> and here is the back. And this went for $7.97. I'm not sure what you call these cards, but it did have the artist here, 1907 Walter Hellman. And I believe some people do. I misspelled it. Oh, is it Walter Wellman or Hellman? It is Wellman. Oh, I didn't misspell it. Anyways, I wouldn't put it past me to misspell it. Okay, here we have Higgins Avenue Bridge, Missoula, Montana, Clark River. And this is a sepia. And here is the entire view. That went for six forty seven. Bernie Falls, Lost River, California, Union Oil Gasoline. I didn't see another one like this. People do collect the Union Oil cards. Sometimes you only get like two or three bucks for them. But this one went for $5.97. I had a lot of uh, watchers and views right away. And I did not send out any offers because I thought saw how popular it was and it sold for my full price. And there you go. Here is another Blue Cats. And I have one more those. I like kind of like selling things in quantity because then I don't have to keep listing them. Here's Bentley, the convention hotel in Alexander, Louisiana. And this is a linen. There's my close-up. There is the entire one view. And it is unposted. Somebody at one time tried to sell it for a dollar. I got four forty seven. Jesus Risen guards Spears West Oh, what is so good? Okay, it was another language. So this was a nice gel postcard, a gel gelatin. Um, you can see. Did I? Oh, there's a scratch there. I need. Yeah, I have cleaned my scanner since, and it wasn't posted, but it was written on. So that went for eleven ninety seven. I don't know if you can see the gel. You know, you can kind of see how shiny it is, but it's it's a really actually quite a lovely card. So. Eleven ninety seven. If I didn't say that already, here's a RPSPC real photo postcard of children, and here is mother and Elise Elsie. Now, when I talked about photos and returning them, this does not have enough evidence to return it to a family, unfortunately. Here is the entire photo, and uh, Popeye postcards said that he doesn't sell these very well, but I have been selling them. This one only went for three twenty five at a best offer, but I sell them anywhere between this and ten for just people. So this is Air India Boeing seven oh seven blue wire puzzle postcard abstract art is what I added to it because it doesn't look like an airplane postcard, but it is Air India Boeing seven oh seven. So it was put out by the airlines. So that one went for six forty seven. And just a second while I load more. All right, we're back. More postcards listed or listed tabs. Okay, for you it was just a blink, but not for me. Here we go with public school in Ogden, Iowa, undivided back 1907. And here it is. And it's going to Miss Deanna Thompson in Illinois, 1907. And I sold that for 947. Here, well, this was an interesting postcard. Congressional Library, Washington, D.C. It's a tuck. And I looked, there wasn't anything on eBay and nothing in the recent sold so i went to worth point and that's where i found that this is what they've been selling for i think i might have priced it up a few more dollars because there isn't anything else right now and it, and it did so, sell quickly so i might have been able to get a few more dollars eh, whatever but it sold so this is uh, an embo embossed top and this is a congressional library and here is the back. It's a private mailing card to mrs chandler in massachusetts twelve dollars we have an RPPC, Crossing the Stream, Horned Cattle. Here is a close-up. I don't do a lot of close-ups anymore. And here's my upside down, um, because I'm upside down a lot. Crossing the Stream, maybe I should call myself the upside down seller. 547 and free shipping. 
Sugar Beet Factory, I can smell this one. In fact, if, you, if you've been near one, you know what I mean. Um, this is in Billings, so those people who want to move to Billings, be warned that this happens. <laughs> See, the whole town smells. Um, there we go, $3.97. Lankford Manor, Tifton, Georgia postcard. It's a restaurant postcard. And it was a artist rendering, 1956, to Alan Jackman again of Evanston, Illinois. 497. New Leonard Gallows Frame Mining, Butte, Montana. And there is the Gallows Frame. Here it is unposted. It's actually quite a nice card. 1497. Giant Cactus. Cactuses do sell. This is a nice white border one. And it is unposted. So it's in good shape it's for 397. You're not going to get um, mega rich, but it's consistent. Here's another edition. Tadushan. Tadushan. Shon. How do you pronounce that? I'm not good at German pronunciation. Pronunciation. It is a um, new card that I purchased for to have some stock for post crossing. But I'm selling a few so I can break even on the sale. And I think that's upside down too. Good one. Three ninety seven. And I probably paid about a buck for it. So it's just it's beautiful. It reminds me of those old Santa ones and he he's um on a airship. I think that someday will be a collectible. Peach de ugh, excuse me, Peach Tree Street in Atlanta, Georgia. So here is the close up. There is the back to Miss Viola Wernicke in the Army Ch Chemical Technical Center. I've had quite a few of her postcards. Here is a full image. It's a linen and 447. Red Zinger Bicycle Classic. Now I had this one. It was another one that didn't have much of a history of sell sales. And I have a whole bunch of the Red Zinger and the Anheuser Anheuser Busch, but which it later became. So I think there was one or two that sold um, that I saw on Worth Point. And I'll put a link below for Worth Point if you want to check it out. I think you can do it, try it for free um, to see if it would help you. And uh, this it helped me in this case because I think the ones that sold went between 12 and 14 dollars and they don't come up that often so i listed these both for 20 dollars and you know because i don't want to overprice them and they'll never sell so this guy he made me a 15 dollar offer on two of them and i thought okay fine because i paid like eight cents each for these so this one and that one went out and they were the only ones that said red zinger on them so the red zinger ones are more desirable so far next we have greetings from glacier park in montana <clears throat> Lar large letter not big letter it's in linen and 447 another montana granola lake and garden wall in glacier it is another linen postcard unposted and 397 grand prix and that's all this postcard said what had these cars and it, that's all it said on the back was Grand Prix. So what I did is I went and I used my phone and I used uh, Google Lens and um, zeroed in on the race car. And it told me who it was. It's Nikki Lada Ferrari. And then this the one in the back is Chris Ammon. And I think that might have helped to sell it. I mean, it's a lot of work for 497 but if it ever comes up again, because um, there were other cards like that, I think it sold f more quickly because of that information. Macaw Parrot and Florida. Um, this was my control group. There is the back and it went for $2.50 at a best offer. Point something Nicolet, Quebec, Canada. I think this is my zoom in and here is the back. And there is the full view. So it's a nice old car card. It's the, got some wear on the corners. $4.47. River Inn and Trailer Park. Here we go. And this was, was I think it's the Chrome. Um, Molinos, California. Unposted, 447. Capital at Night, Water Reflection, in Washington, D.C. Uh, the Night Views. I don't s put a lot of capital postcards up. I usually just put them in my antique booth um, because they, there's so many of them. But the Night Views I will put up. And this one was 1941 to Mary Kelly in Elmira, New York. 347. Another blue cat. Now these and the next few went to the same person. So we've got this one and this one, this one, 
and that one. They're so cute. And yes, I spelled China wrong, but I had two of them and they both sold. <laughs> so it didn't matter if I sold them or if I spelled them right. A real photo postcard of American sailor ship flag, blah, blah, blah. Okay, here is the zoom in. There is the back and here is the full photo. And I do believe this is colorized. 1197. Carrie McGill Memorial Residence, YMCA, and it has room rights on it. So it's in the back. Oh wait, the room rights are on the front. <clears throat> Seven dollars to twelve fifty a week, breakfast and dinner included. Without dinner, three dollars less a week. So there you go. That was four forty seven. Scenic Highway, Cape Cat, Cape Cod Canal. It's a linen. Here is the full view, and this. I can't make out the date. Um, Mr. Leonard, Mr. And Mrs. Leonard Grimes in Ludlow, Massachusetts, 447. Aspen Airways Convair. It's another plane, 447. My planes seem to be selling more, and maybe that's due to more plane activity. Okay, Claytor Lake State Park in Virginia. So this is speedboat. The funny thing about this is it looks like an old linen postcard, but this is actually a chrome card, uh, and it does have that old look to it. 1197 because there wasn't a lot of uh, this was the only one like that that I could see here's a D and RG narrow gauge steam train railroad Silverton Colorado and this was a, a continental chrome it was uh, sent in 69 to Dwight couch in Nevada for 47 is what I got for it courthouse Salem Illinois Wallace novelty store again there's so many trees you can't really see it but there it is and the, it was published by Wallace Novelty Store. I tried to put that in there because there might be people looking for those places. So, five ninety seven. The Mandarin Oriental Hotel Group in Jakarta, Indonesia. This is another continental. I am trying to post more of my international ones. Um, this person was an expat and was interested in this card. And, he's, and I have three of this, them there, the exact same. And he sent me a message and said, is the card the exact one in the image? And I said, yes, it is. You know, I always, you know, have a, you know, whatever. I don't know what I said. But anyway, I said, by the way, um, is there a reason to think that there might not be the same, same card as in the picture? And he said that sometimes they aren't the same <laughs> when there's multiple in the, the listing. So I'm not sure what that's about, what, what, where he comes across that. If you know anything about that, let me know. Because I... Is, if this is the image of the postcard, that's the postcard that you're going to get. And if the condition on the three of them would be off, like if one of them had more wear than the others, I would either show the photo of the more wear here um, as my example, or I would make them separate listings. So anyways, that's just an interesting thing. Okay, um, Fister Hotel in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. There it is. And there's the back. It's an Acme graph. 1912 and 597 Salt Lake City, Utah. We have become a Mormon. There are so many Salt Lake City, Utah postcards. I just put them in my booth now. I listed a few, but 597 Interior Steps Cave of Dubuque, Iowa. And this one, there was quite a few of the, there's, there was other ones out there, but this one sold within a few days for me. I don't know why, um, but 397 Going to the dogs, here is one that an original, uh, you can tell it's a continental chrome by the scalloped edge, and it's dog racing. Um, somebody tried to lowball me for $2, and they kept countering me at $2 and $2.10, and I'm like, no. So I just declined, and then a couple days later, someone said $3, and I'm like, yeah. Anyways, uh, Soldiers, Sailors, Sailors Monument, 10th Pan Am Games in Indianapolis. This is another continental. And it went for six ninety seven. Durango and Silverton didn't I just say this one? This is a little different, but it's another continental train and it is a newer one because it has the UPC code. I often don't sell the ones with UPC codes. I'm not sure why I chose this. Oh, well, this was an earlier one. Four forty seven, so that's why. I didn't know enough yet <laughs> to not list that one that I made money on. Anyways. Just I don't know. Postcard selling. I'm learning. I'm still learning. Mirage on Desert, Arizona, Fred Harvey. 
a white border and H bets. I wonder if I put that one on there. Uh, that would have been a good thing to put down. But Fred Harvey does go uh, is more desirable than other ones. So that went for nine ninety seven. Carmelite Monastery in Indianapolis. Here is my zoom in because it's really hard to see anything in this postcard. It's just kind of blah, but it was kind of a cool back too. I, I wish I would have showed that one in the listing. So I wonder if this was put out by the monastery in their little gift shop or something, but that was 447. And finally, a Holiday Inn, Wabash, in Illinois, another chrome. And there is that. Somebody tried to get 25 cents. I outdid them with 397. And so my shout out today is a little different because it is not a po she is not a postcard seller. She is a postcrosser. I know uh, I've been talking about postcrossing, but this lady, postcrossing lover, Caroline from France, I really love her channel because she is so happy, so enthusiastic about it and uh, you know if you're just a postcard not just if you are a postcard seller you might be interested in seeing what people of today are interested in I mean this is the the crowd that does post crossing stuff is a little is a bit different audience than the ones who are buying your antique stuff but these are the people that someday 30 40 50 years from now these are the people that are collecting the cards for future postcard collect um sellers so anyways that, uh, but if you're having a bad day just watch her channel she is so upbeat beat and happy and um just very positive so i really enjoy watching her and seeing what she gets so anyways that is my video today i know it's getting a little long it's a good thing we are doing this by the week and like i said i'll do this through march after march i might consider if i'm going to do every item that's sold or just select a few because some of these are just over and over again i mean do you need to see everyone you can always go look at my solds on ebay too um so a lot of them don't need explanation so i'm leaning towards not showing all of the solds um but we'll see so because it you know otherwise my channel is going to be the all sold show and um drop your questions by wednesday and I will get the uh, Q&A video out on Friday. So have a joyful day. Goodbye.